Okay, the sound is working now. Sorry, if you turn on your microphone, it works way better. Let me start at the beginning. I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. My husband, Chris, and I own and operate Keto Chow. It's a meal replacement shake. We have uh, electrolytes that are non-flavored, non-sweetened, and super awesome. And we have egg white protein powder because we want to. Anyway, uh, we do these live streams to help us be accountable and stay on track. Thanks so much for joining me on my keto journey today. Uh, my husband's gone. He'll be home today, so I'm so excited. He went to Metabolic Health Summit, which is an awesome, awesome conference uh, all about metabolic health. Uh, there's biohacker stuff. There's lots of doctors, nurses, nutritionists, dietitians. Uh, there's products there, too. Mostly, it's just learning about you know, how our body works and what we should do to best optimize it. And anyway, I love going, but I decided to stay home with my kids this time. It was Mother's Day and we've been gone a lot and I wanted to just have one more weekend with them. So that's what I chose to do. But Chris and Holly and Steve went and they just had a great time and they're going to come home today. So that's awesome. Let me uh, say hi real quick in the comments. If you can't hear me, will you let me know? Because I am not talking super loud, but the green bar on the bottom is moving, so it's got to be working. Uh, Keto Life Granny is here. Hi, Audrey. Uh, Penny's here. Hi, Penny. I'm sorry I can't tell you about the conference. I can tell you only a couple things that Chris has told me on the phone, but I will uh, let you know what I have learned. And Audrey said, granddaughter's done testing till this afternoon, so I can actually watch this live. Nice. And Emily's here. Dorothy's here. Lynn is here. J Dog's here. Good morning, Challings. Happy Monday. Two more sleeps and we'll be on our way to Orlando. Can't wait to see the folks going. Yes. I'm excited. I'm, I'm making my list of stuff today of my final things I need to get done before we go on the cruise this weekend. I mean, I guess it's next week, but we'll be there this weekend, so that's exciting. Uh, Sabrina's here and Dennis is here. Good morning. Jackie, non-scale victory today, size 16 down from 18. Yes, that's so awesome. Uh, she said, I think they're a, small, they're a smaller running brand because the 18s were falling off and the 16s are snug. And that's okay because you're in the 16, which is amazing. You're doing awesome and feeling great. So I'm so proud of you. Good job, Jackie. Um, Rita's here. Good morning. Betsy, did anyone reply about being life coached by Emma? Not sure what it's about. Okay. So uh, I don't know if this was on the Facebook support group or just friends. One of our employees, Lori Allred, who helps with social media, she's awesome. Her daughter is a life coach. And so I know she posted on her own um, page or whatever that her daughter was doing it. And if you wanted to do free coaching, she wanted to um, do that for a while. So I would totally trust her. She's amazing. So I would do it too. If the, and that's what you're talking about. So if you know Lori Allred, go to her Facebook page and her daughter's doing some coaching and she's not charging right now. So I think she's just getting some hours and stuff in. So anyway, there's that. Um, Nan is here. Good morning. Sabrina's here. Uh, how are you, Sabrina? Uh, Suzanne is here. Hi, Suzanne. How are you? Um, Oh, Betsy says, way to go, Jackie. Nan's here. Uh, 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 red wine. Hi, WI. Does that mean you're in Wisconsin? Let us know. Uh, Susan's here. Hello, Lynette. Hi, hi. Oh, you look so great, Mary. Thank you. You look great, too. I hope everybody had a good Mother's Day. I had a good day. It was really nice. We kind of chilled out. We had pork belly for dinner. Yeah, what did you guys have for dinner last night? We had pork belly green beans uh we also put some leftover meatballs on the table what else there's one more thing oh and caprese salad and it was delicious and the kids cleaned off the table so i didn't have to so i was happy about that that's one of their jobs so they should you know clean off the table uh, uh oh red wine says good morning from williamsburg kentucky awesome that's so awesome uh keto mom says good morning Blue Dove says, good morning, Chow Hounds, and lovely Miriam. Hi, Blue Dove. How are you? Uh, look at you holding down the fort like a boss. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I turned on the microphone, so I feel like I've accomplished one thing today. Yay. Uh, 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 let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else? We can hear you. Yay. 
Oh, Betsy says, been catching MHS and so interesting, but probably too nerdy for my brain. You know, it's interesting how, uh, like, Chris is a super nerd old brain, right? He gets the stuff and he remembers it. I don't remember stuff super well, like, all the time well. But after a while, like, the repetition really does get there. And so I could explain probably a lot of things, maybe just not with the proper medical terminology. Uh, but I get a, get a grasp, I think, of most most of the things because of the repetition. So that seems to really help me a lot. So if I hear hear a talk, I'll, then if I hear it again, or if I hear something else that's the same thing, then it's still great. So keep keep going even if you feel like you can't get it because you'll get it eventually, right? Um, Kathy says, here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, Kel in Michigan is saying happy Monday. Hi, Kel, how are you? Uh, Mary T, good morning, Mary. Need some Utah advice. Where can we book an Airbnb near Draper so we can visit Keto Chow but out of the city, rural area? Um, let's see, Lehigh, Saratoga Springs, um, Harriman would probably still be fine. Draper, any city within like 20 minutes, even Taylorsville would probably be fine. Uh, or West Jordan, South Jordan. Yeah, you can message me if you want. I can help you look at some stuff. Um, Cindy's here. Good morning from Washington. Mimi, hi. How are you, Mimi? Uh, um, oh, Becky says, pack your hats. It's hot here in Florida. Oh, yeah, I believe it. I went walking today, and it was 39 degrees, and I didn't wear a jacket, and I wished I would have because it was crisp. But I was thinking, since I haven't walked in, like, a couple of weeks because of all the stuff we've been doing, and so I was excited to get out there and walk. And I'm like, oh, it's warmer. It's got to be warmer. No, it's the same. It's still cold in the morning. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, Carrie says, I had to search to find you. Yes, Miriam. Yeah, sorry. Chris will be back tomorrow. He will be here today. Oh, Carrie says, 101 days, no coffee or caffeine. Yes. <laughs> Carrie's doing good on his habits. Mike says, hello. Uh, Lungo Matt, proud of you, Miriam, and 2KK Rachel for doing solo live streams. You don't need the guys to run a live stream. Yeah, possibly. We can do it sometimes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Rhiannon's here. Good morning. Uh, Tanya's here. Hello. Good morning. Tanya, how's your uh, foot and leg healing? I'm just wondering. I think it's your foot, right? Ankle area. Um, Radical Geek says, hello. Glad to see everyone. I don't know if you did a live yesterday, Matreya. Did you? Did you do your video? I didn't catch it. Um, oh, air fryer auntie. My suitcase weighed 51.4. Uh, agree distributing today. My brain was going hours before my body this morning. Wow, 51 pounds. Is, that's a heavy suitcase anyway. We fill up ours to 50 all the time, and it's just heavy. So, yeah, we're going to get those going. Um, Eddie says, happy Monday, everyone. Back to butter after a short detour into avocado oil. No surprise, butter is better. Avocado oil really upset my stomach, which was surprising to me. Yeah, that that is funny. I wonder if you did like alternating, if you did butter one day and avocado oil another day, if it would be better. But I'm glad that you got butter because if it's, if it's working, then that's perfect. Uh, Blue Duff says, I'm getting more nervous slash excited. Still much more to do before we leave. Yes, I know. I got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, Becky says, cruise hack, pack two swimsuits, just hang to dry. I actually told my son that last night. I said, do you want to bring two swimsuits? And he's like, why? I'm all, if this one's wet, then you can hang it, and then you can wear the dry one if you want to go in the pool. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Also, if you wear multiple swimsuits, then you'll get different tan lines because even if you wear sunscreen all the time, you still will get sun, and, and yeah, if you're out in the water or in the ocean or whatever you're gonna do uh gina good morning how are you uh, uh, uh virginia hi okay sabrina says ribeye fresh gulf shrimp scampi and brussels sprouts it was wonderful oh that does sound wonderful i have brussels sprouts and i was gonna make some last night but i'm like i don't want to do that i just didn't want to do all the things uh, Suzanne said, I hope all the moms had a great mom's day and my 28-year-old son spent the day with me. I was in heaven. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I told my kids, I'm like, for Mother's Day, I want you to play games with me. So we played a game and we watched a show. And we ate dinner together, so it was nice. And went to church together. We played catchphrase, which was really fun. I love how fun that game is. Carrie says, I have eggs, ground beef, liver, and butter and sardines. Wow, that sounds awesome, too. Uh, Jen said, oh, saying hi to somebody. 
Becky says, bring half the delicates you would think you would need, hand wash and hang. Yeah, you, yeah, you could do that um, because then you will have more space in your suitcase. We're actually going to bring more suitcases than we normally do because we're bringing our snorkel gear. And that takes up a lot of space because those fins are huge. So I, uh, we're making that decision and that's okay. So we'll probably have two suitcases per person, which is a lot, 16 suitcases, but it's fine. And then we'll have room for souvenirs. So that'd be good. Uh, uh, oh, Sue says, thanks for recommending the Atomic Habit. Enjoyed it. Oh, yes, yeah, Sue. And if you're following the Two Crazy Ketos, they're actually doing on Wednesday nights, they're doing a kind of go over of Atomic Habits. And um, it's bringing up all those points again. So it's like a little book club uh, video thing. So I really enjoyed it last week. This week, I think they're going to read until like page 97 or something like that. So if you've read it fairly recently and you wanted to kind of go over it again and just kind of go through the points, uh, it's been really fun to go to Two Crazy Ketos and watch that on Wednesday nights. I think, uh, I can't remember what time it was. I was surprised it was like four-ish my time, which who knows what time that is your time. Sorry, I'm super not helpful. But anyway, Two Crazy Kiddos on Wednesday are doing a live stream talking about that book specifically. So if you want to, then it's cool. Uh, Dennis says, Miriam, are you ready to share atom Atomic Habits? Am I ready to share? I'm, I'm ready to share. I've read it twice. I love it. I could read it again. I actually... Um, went through and highlighted a few points but the thing that I have a difficult time with which part of your keto journey or your any journey your life journey is getting to know yourself and realizing weaknesses and strengths and trying to play on those strengths and realize what those weaknesses are one thing I am weak in that I am totally accepting of myself is I have a difficult time like uh, remembering things or getting overwhelmed with too much information at once. And so if I have too much information, uh, I tend to uh, shut down because I just can't handle uh, that much information and trying to apply it um, because I, I'll give myself a, a to-do list that's like 75 things and then I do it for like two days and then I just get so overwhelmed and burned out. So with like Atomic Habits, he talks about just doing little things. And one thing I know Serious Keto has been doing is a, a month, and I know two crazy Ketos do this too. They do, they do, all three of them do a specific thing for an entire month. And it's just one thing. And that I feel like is attainable. It's something you can do, something you can change. You can implement one thing every single day until it becomes a habit. And then you can build upon that. And what Atomic Habits talks about is having your systems work well uh, and not like these big, huge, lofty goals that are unattainable. So that really resonated with me. But uh, anyway, if I re read the whole book again, I can only take out a little piece to apply at a time because otherwise I just get too overwhelmed and I do not want to shut down. So I've got to just pick and pull a little at a time and try to implement one thing at a time because I know I don't want to overwhelm myself and I know that about myself and I realize that that's, that's fine and I'm okay with it and so I just need to make things so that I can achieve them, make achievable goals or achievable habits or achievable something so that I can feel good and victorious and yes, I always wanna move forward. You always wanna have some like major goal in mind or whatever, that's fine. But I also have to have attainable you know, things that are measurable so that I can get places. So that's, that's something I've learned about myself through my keto journey, through my journey of life and motherhood and self, self-learning, right? Um, oh, Lynette said we woke up to snow this morning. Yeah, the mountains are covered in snow, so it's really pretty. Um, oh, and Carrie says it's 90 here in Texas where I live. Wow, I wish I was there. I want the snow. I've, I've got a sweater on today because... It, I was cold this morning when I was walking. And South Florida says 84 degrees. Oh, I mean, Becky, not South Florida says. <laughs> uh, Cindy says, we had a freeze warning here in Yakima. Just unreal. We're planting our gardens and flowers. Yeah, ours is, it's always hard this time of year because you never know when the last snowfall is going to be and then the last breeze. So if you plant some stuff, then you have those little tomato, uh, it's, like, uh, it's like bubble wrap that you put around your tomatoes so that they can protect them from uh, the snow in case we get like cold, too cold of weather. It's okay if it kind of gets ground, the ground freezes a little bit, but well, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not, depends, it really depends. 
Um, Mary's talking to Dennis. Uh, Jen's here. Do you have any gratitude or positive insight to share with us from over the weekend? Hmm. Let's see. I am grateful for the place I'm in um, right now. I, I made a post yesterday on Facebook at like 9 o'clock at night, probably 10 o'clock at night, and I just um, wrote something like, things could be better, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy right now. So I'm happy, at least, at least last night, I was feeling very happy and content with right now. And I feel like that's something in our, especially keto journey, when, when we're focused on weight loss, like we have a difficult time being happy right now because I'm like, I need to get rid of this chin. I need to be better. I need to do this. And we focus so much on what we need to, want to, feel like we can't accomplish that we have a difficult time being happy right now. And so that's what I was focusing on last night, like just trying to be happy right now. And I was feeling very happy in that moment. And I feel, I feel happy today too. I feel like um, I have a body that works. I can sit up. I can sit down. I can walk. I can run if I want to. I can swim. I can do a lot of things that I'm super grateful that my body can do. And I'm grateful that... Um, that it works, that my mind works. I'm grateful to have keto. I'm grateful that I have a family that I have, that they're so kind to me. I know sometimes we complain about kids, but guess what? Kids are hard, but they're still super great. My kids are so great. I love them so much. Uh, oh, one other thing. Actually, I think it slipped my mind. Never mind. It's gone. It fell out of my brain. Um, Betsy, anyone catch the Derby? So awesome. Also opened up a conversation with my vegetarian cousin in Louisville and was... Uh, it was so great. She had knee, knee replacement in two weeks and is interested in keto chow. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Betsy. Share the word of keto chow. Um, oh, Becky says, rinse your suits off the salt water. They will dry faster. Yeah, well, and, and not even just for drying purposes, but it's going to be better for longevity. Um, that's one thing that we learned with our scuba classes is you want to rinse off all of your um, equipment and your swim stuff. I always just wash my swimming suit right after, but I'm sure if we rinsed it before we get home to to wash it or before we send it to the dry cleaners or whatever, not dry cleaners, the, the cruise washing machine place, <laughs> it would probably still be better because if you rinse the salt water and, and even chlorine off, if you rinse that off, then you're going to have longevity of your equipment and your swim attire. So thank you, Becky. Great tip. Um, Shauna said we watched the Golden State Warriors on Saturday with my mom and she loved it. Oh, how fun. Speaking of your mom, how's she doing? Is she still doing keto? I'm just curious if she's doing well. Um, Becky said the boys cleaned up for me. They gave their mom a huge break. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Becky, 16 suitcases. Yeah, but they can all, you know, carry two suitcases. They're fine. It's so, it's so great traveling with people that can carry their own things. Because men, when you travel with those babies and they're just completely hopeless. It's super difficult. I'm like poor Chris is like, here, give me a baby. Give me this. Give me five car seats. Blah, blah, blah. It's just such a nightmare. That's why we always drove everywhere when we had our littles because everything was compact into a back of a van. So, so I'm, I'm glad I'm not, I don't even care that we have 16 suitcases because my kids can each carry their own suitcases. Like the only one that ever has a problem is Sam and it's because he's little, but he's really big still now. Um, so I'm not even stressed about it. It's going to be super chill. Oh, speaking of Max this weekend, uh, not Sam, Max, just Sam made me think of Max. We went, I took him to the trampoline place and dropped him off, which is so awesome. Like 20 bucks for a free babysitter. I mean, just kidding. They had a, they had a great time though. Uh, so I dropped him off since they're over, I think it's 10 or something that you could leave them by, by themselves. But I took Sam and a bunch of his friends and Max to the trampoline park and they had like a, they have like a parkour section in there. So they were just having a blast and a lot of fun. And then one of the other kids uh, moms picked them up and Max called me. I was at the grocery store and he's like, I think maybe I sprained my wrist. And I'm like, OK, have you iced it? Have you taken ibuprofen? No, I said, do that and I'll be right back and we'll look at it and see. And it wasn't bruised or swollen. Uh, but he was, he was definitely in pain. I could tell. Um, so we went to the urgent care and had an x-ray done and, uh, it was, 
interesting to me, uh, short story, right? So he's fine. He, it's not even bruised. It's not even sprained. It's totally fine. But while we're in there, the doctor's just going through uh, the the motions. Like, okay, so ro ro rotate it this way, like from the elbow up, and then rotate this way, rotate this way, rotate that way. And um, can you do this? Can you do this? Like he was just checking out all the places, right? And I was just so amazed. Like our body is so cool, so cool. So we look at the x-ray and I've seen x-rays before, but for some reason I was just taken back to this time because the, all of these bones, like all of these bones and stuff right here are just so movable. Like we just have all of this range of motion and it's just so, it's so cool. We have such cool bodies. So anyway, and I know you guys appreciate that because we've been, we always, you know, are talk about how our bodies work and there's so many things we don't understand, but there's always so many things that we, um, that our bodies do right that we don't ever think about. Like a lot of times we focus on what is going wrong with our bodies, but yet they're doing so many things right. Like this, <laughs> it isn't until you can't do that, that you're like, oh, I wish my arm could do that thing, <laughs> right? So anyway, that, I, that happened this weekend and he is fine. It's actually feeling a lot better. He said that, um, he does have his growth plates still. You could see them. And the doctor was like, well, looking up at Max, you know, giant, giant size, you're probably not done growing. He's like, really? That's so cool. <laughs> so he's pretty excited he might still grow some more because his growth plates haven't closed up. But yeah, so that was, that was something else we did this weekend. And he was, he's totally fine. But uh, I would, it just made me remember like one more thing. I'm just so grateful for all the things my body can do. Um, oh, Keto uh, Life Granny says, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you. Hi, LaShawn. How are you? Um, Betsy says, I spent Mother's Day with my church, a picture of Porsche and me on Instagram. Oh, yeah, how fun. That's so good. I'm glad you got to have, have a good time. Uh, it's probably Porsche. I probably said that wrong. Sorry. Uh, 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 a couple more comments. Cindy, you're so right about doing something for a month. I did carnivore for a month of April and it was life changing. I had some issues that were bothersome go away. I feel amazing. Right? And that's just like that one change. I mean, granted, that's a lot of changes, but that's one thing you can focus on. It's so much more attainable. Right? Um, Becky says, church with the hubs and kiddos on Saturday night. Um, modding the live streams for church. Oh, as in, um, yeah. Right. For church yesterday, kiddos cleaned, stayed up late, and played in the pool. Great day had by all. How awesome. Oh, I want a pool. No, I don't want a pool. I want to swim in a pool. How's that? Um, Lynette says, I'm not in the mountains, I ha and I have store on my snow on my front lawn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Um, Wright family says it's going to be 79 here today. Uh, Becca says, we have perfect weather, blue sky, sunny, but a light breeze. 68 feels like 70. Oh, that is perfect. That's so perfect. Uh, Sarah's here. Good morning, Miriam and Chow Hounds. I used red film tubes for my tomatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Mary T, I have a sign on my wall given to me from my dear friend, late, um, dear late friend. It says, choose happiness. It's above my coffee pot. First thing I see in the morning, choose happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Um, and something I've been thinking about a lot uh, when I hear um, some, something like that, like it is a choice for us to make. Um, to try to choose to not let things affect us and not let things um, tear us down and bring us down. And there, there is an element of choice there for us and for most people. But I know with clinical depression and anxiety, seeing stuff like that is very difficult, uh, especially my daughter just really has a hard time with it uh, because she's like, I want to choose happiness. I choose happiness, but I can't stop feeling this way. And so I think uh, in addition to choose happiness, we should also have a sign that says choose compassion uh, because that not everybody works the same way. And, I, and I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity that I can choose happiness and I can choose how I react to different things that happen in my life. But there's also, you know, something like choosing compassion for people who may not have complete choice over that. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but let me know if you think that's okay. <laughs> um, Becky says, a reason to be happy. The clothing is finally getting looser. Yes! 
thyroid levels and reducing my fat intake slightly and tracking, tracking, tracking. Yes, that's so awesome, Becky. I'm so glad. I'm proud of you. Uh, Sabrina says, sitting here at the campsite, listening to the wind blowing through the pine trees and birds singing at the top of their lungs. Yes. I'm grateful we are well and our health to travel the USA. That's so awesome. I just, I love that. I love to just sit and enjoy nature and what God's given us. And we're just so, I'm just so grateful to be outside too. So, yay. Thank you for sharing, Sabrina. Uh, Betsy says, you're amazing. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you. Uh, Jackie says, on a uh, cruising weight loss page, it amazes me that they congratulate each other on only gaining so much and blaming the salt, not the ice cream or the desserts and pizza, you know, they're hinged on. Yeah, that's frustrating because salt is so important. In fact, I had uh, a muscle, I was sitting in church yesterday, and one of my arms muscles was just spasming out. It was like, what is wrong with you today? I don't know why, but I realized I had not had a lot of electrolytes lately, so I'm definitely getting those today because I think that that may have been the problem. I've had problems where my like eyelid like does that spasm. I don't know. Flexes. What's the right word? I don't know. Something. And so um, I've, I drank water and got electrolytes and that stopped. So I'm going to make sure to get those electrolytes today because I do not want weird muscle spasms. Hello. That was, that was awesome. Um, oh, Wright Family says Elizabeth is graduating Saturday. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, oh my gosh, I did. You posted, you sent me a picture of Elizabeth. And today I have pictures of Kate. Oh, she's so cute. We went with Grandpa Bear and he took her pictures on Friday. Look how cute she is. So I have to make, today we have to make some announcements. So cute. So yeah, she's graduating June something, something June. So next month. So she has a couple more weeks of school left. You got to make sure to get those grades and assignments and stuff in so that she can be done. Oh, Becca says, I have grace glands. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Um, Shauna said, Max will meet, reach amazing heights in more, ma more ways than one. Yeah, I think he will, too. He's such a good kid. Um, Sandra says, will you please address the issue of sucralose in your keto child? That's a good question. So, Chris, I always let him take, take this on because he knows the science talk of things. But um, let me tell you, there's a page on our website that says, what's up? with sucralose. So if you want to Google that, keto chow sucralose question mark, and it talks about the different studies we found with sucralose. So one in particular is uh, mice or rats, I can't remember, study where they gave really a lot of sucralose to the mice and then they found problems with their gut or whatever after the fact. But they didn't actually test regular sugar or regular other sweeteners they just tested sucralose, so it doesn't tell us that those other sweeteners wouldn't do the same thing, for one. And then um, they gave so much sucralose that their bodies couldn't handle it. So just like if we ate too much of bananas or, or grapes or anything, we would have a problem with it because we're not made to eat that much of one specific type of thing. So that's it's our, it's our choice to be putting the sucralose in, but we believe that sucralose has been demonized unnecessarily. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and Google that page, uh, Keto Chow and Sucralose, then you can read a lot of the you know, more nerdy details, but that's kind of a, a short uh, version in what we, what we have chosen to do. And w we completely understand if you don't want to do sucralose, that is your choice. And that's what's so great about keto is you, you have a choice to do that for yourself. You can do what you want with it. Um, Betsy says, cool bodies, unless you have done too many carbs for too many years. I can't do any of those twists and turns, but I'm now on the right journey and stopping all the craziness. Yeah, but there are still, there's got to still be something your body is doing and can do um, that we're not remembering. And I think that that, um, and I'm not trying to downplay anything, Betsy, because I know you've had, you've had a lot of health problems and I... I'm really proud of you for how far you've come and for what you've done and what you've overcome in your life. It's just so amazing to me. But there's got to be something your body's doing that you can be grateful for, right? So that's, that's what I was trying to say. Alan, good morning. Coming in late. Have a meeting. Uh, today's the day that's been created. We shall rejoice and be glad. Yep, yep. 
Choose compassion. I love that. Yes. And I love choose happiness too. I hope you guys understand what I was trying to say. Um, uh, Carrie says, my mental health is getting better and there are some times that is hard how to respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sometimes. And, and I think the thing is, um, especially like with keto, it can help mental health things, but it doesn't always cure it. Sometimes it does. Some people, it really will um, uh, make it uh, go away. I don't think that's, that's proven by any means, but I know that there are quite a few people that have had clinical depression that say that they don't suffer from it anymore because of how they eat and their lifestyle, but I, I think there's a lot of uh, things you have to go through. There's a lot of changes your body has to make in order to do that, and that's not saying that it won't ever come back because we can't fix everything. We can just do the best we can with what we have. Right. Um, okay, let's see, let's see. I think I'm getting close to being done. Oh, Becky says I get spasms, muscle spasms all the time. Well, maybe take some more electrolytes to see if that helps. Uh, Mary Jane Angel says I cruised in February and gained five pounds. It was my drinks package. I could totally see that. I knew that. I didn't indulge in high carb foods, had a smidge of froyo, four days home, and I was only up one pound. Awesome, awesome. And that's a choice that you made, and I think that's great. Like, you make that choice, and you're back on keto when you get home, like you're, and you're still doing keto there, just the drinks, right, you said. So So that's, that's a choice. Like, everybody has a choice. They, they choose what they're putting in their body, no matter what any influencer, any random person says. Like, you still have a choice to, to do what you want to do, and you just want to try to do the best if you can. Uh, Mary T says, my grandma always said, if your eye is twitching, it means you are going to see someone you haven't seen in a long time. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> uh, we always said that if your nose was itching, someone's thinking about you, right? I think that's a good one. Audrey says, Kate is so pretty. Yeah, she is. She's so pretty. Mm, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll get to the comment, end of the comments. Um, oh, yeah, right. So family says, that's what they do with salt, too. Da, da, da. Right, right, right. Okay, I'm done with the comments. So I'm grateful that I got to talk to you guys today. I'll have my better half tomorrow. So we'll have some nerdy things to talk about. And um, everybody have a great day. Okay, bye.